here's a culmination of what I've been thinking about during the week <laughs> while listening to the news. Welcome to the journey. Peace. I got a question. I'm listening to this thing about Manning, right? There's this this whole uh, Obama letting her out of jail, and I just got to ask the question: How does a private come across a hundred thousand classified documents? Got enough access to a hundred thousand classified documents? Super secret, sensitive stuff. A private, somebody who's been a private, is somebody who's been in the military less than two years. I mean, if you still a private, they even say private first. Did they even say private first class? Right. This private had access to all this stuff. Um, did a gender transition, and during the gen gender transition, was passing, I guess, information to Julian Assange. Nobody has asked the question, what is, so if the private was doing it, how did the private get access to this information? What about the, the sergeant that was over her? No, I mean, is, am I the only one that remember the chain of command in the military? There's a chain of command there. So you got 100,000 documents and the only person that's in jail is the private at the bottom? Wow. Damn. All right, that's just me. All right, peace. All right, riding in the car. This is Brother Hot Tim, and I'm sitting up here listening to NPR, but a thought hit me. I am, um, I'll be looking for examples during the day for the day. For example, it's Ujamaa today. And I was thinking about an example. I went to the African store yesterday. I needed some um, coconut oil, right? I went to the store to buy coconut oil, and I had walked into an example of cooperative economics outside you know what i'm saying not just me working on me but i see cooperative economics every time i go to an african store i go to an african store it has african products african staples for the group that that store represents so uh each 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 group each nation has certain foods has certain things you know and they all have certain things in common but it's certain things that you will find Africans, continental Africans, only buying from their own, right? Now, ec uh, cooperative economics at work. And I know it will be a lot of people talking, we can't do that, we can't do that, you know what I'm saying? But it's being done, we have a model. We can see it's working in all these communities, right? You go, you could go to almost any one of the communities of people that, that where I'm watching this, what that might be watching me, and you can find you an African market. I want you to go to the African market. I want you to stand around. I want you to survey how many other people come up in there. How many West Asians come up in there? How many African Americans come up there? The business is mainly supported by its people. And the store sells a lot of staples. What are staples? Staples are products that in a sense secure a culture. That's why it's called a staple. It holds a culture together, right? So we need to formulate the idea of what are our staples, right? And then we need to start finding out how to get them, right? Coconut oil. Like, why did I need coconut oil? First off, I had toothache or something. I, I wanted to oil that, but also I use it for my skin and I also take, take it because it's real good for the body. You know, since I'm not a, a meat eater, it provides me with some healthy um, fats. So um, I use it. And the point that I'm saying is, is certain staples that once we start establishing them, 
and only buy them from us. Only buy them from us. Then we'll start moving towards growth. We'll start moving towards independence, right? So, yo, this is Brother Hot Tim, and this is one of those, uh, this is one of those journey moments, you know what I'm saying? I was just driving, I'm thinking about, I'm listening to NPR. Um, but go to an African market, see what I'm talking about, right? The people that's working there are from the country that it represents. You know what I'm saying? The people that own it are from the country that it represents. They import all their own stuff. They import their own, I'm saying, and the majority of the customers are people that belong to their community. All right? Peace. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's the beginning of the day. So the word of the day is near. We on uh, purpose. And uh, today we're going to focus on looking for the purpose of stuff, asking those quality questions that improve our life. I often wonder, oftentimes, being a nation builder or a tribe builder or whatever, what's the purpose of certain things? And as I was riding, because I know a lot of people are upset about what today is. For those that don't know, it's Inauguration Day. Um, uh, Trump will be sworn in as the President of the United States. And I know a lot of people are looking at this morning in two different ways. You have the morning where the sun rises and you're ready to face the day, and you got morning where people are crying and gnashing their teeth. Um, one of the things that I think people really need to start getting in and starting today is one, like I said, with this Ngusa Sapa Challenge, start looking at why you exist. What's your purpose? Because when you are on purpose, it don't matter who's in the office. You know what I'm saying? When you're on purpose, it doesn't matter how much money you got on in your pocket. When you are on purpose, it doesn't matter, right? But today I'm going to be looking for the purpose of certain things. Like, as I was driving here, I was thinking, I keep on hearing about the police. What is the purpose of the police? What's the purpose of school? What's the purpose of government? You know what I'm saying? We need to start asking quality questions so that we can start getting quality responses from the universe. So yo, this is Brother Hot Tim and this is um this is one of those moments on the journey where we have the luxury of being able to ask those questions. And it's a beautiful thing that we have this luxury. Right? I hope that you are using the luxury to your advantage. Brother Hot Tim, you have a great day. I'll check in with y'all later on. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.